kindly take this opportunity to introduce yourself and do not forget to mention whom you wish to ask the question. Okay? I have yes. to make their life miserable now. We are limiting the time now. Yes, we okay. have 10 minutes for this uh, Q&A right. session. Excellent. Great. So let us start. Can we have the yeah. audience raising their hands please? And I would request Hassan to kindly take the first question for us. Okay, we'll start with the lady. Ma'am, don't forget to introduce yourself. Chen. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, uh, panel. Uh, it's been very inspiring. My name is Flight Lieutenant Sonali. I'm from BNI Jewel and I'm into trainings, soft skill training. So my question is to Wing Commander Ali, sir. That, uh, so you are also into the service industry and I'm also into service industry. So what is that one value which we should carry when we are doing this business? Because it's not only for money, I believe, uh, because I genuinely believe in creating the change and also working towards the development. Yes, I think uh, uh, we had something so customer centricity. I mean, people talk a lot about that customer centricity. You keep asking yourself, is this guy a fan? Right? Is he your fan or not? We keep asking that questions again and again. In fact, uh, we don't have an operation in, at, at Mygate. We didn't have an ops department. We used to call it customer delight and growth. Right? So, uh, you're, if you are in the service industry, customer centricity, the customer has to be your raving fan. You cannot afford a 7 out of a 10. It has right. to be a 9 and a half out of a 10. Wow. Right? Wow. So, customer centricity wow. is the most important. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, customer centric. Can we have the next question, Vinay? Yes, don't forget to introduce yourself, please. Thank you. Uh, thank you, panel. It was really... Run it a little loud. Uh, thank you, panel. It was really interesting today. Uh, one of the big questions that I have, like, is like, what are some of the biggest challenges that the startups and MSMEs are facing today, especially in post pandemic world, and how they can navigate it? Uh, who's the question you for? You then introduce yourself and please tell who the question is for. Who's the question the for? Question. Who is the question for? Yeah, I said for Venu Gopal. Venu Gopal, sir. Yeah. Okay. Venu Gopal, sir, the question is for. Can you repeat the question? So, what are some of the biggest challenges that startups and MSMEs are facing today, especially in post pandemic world, and how can they navigate them? Biggest hurdle startups are facing today, sir. Because of course, because of uh, the pandemic, post pandemic, challenges, uh, <coughs> startups are in challenges. Are <coughs> challenges and deep, but the company is bigger than Challenges, what are the challenges? What are the challenges? Uh, COVID. I'm sorry for my telugu, I can speak. COVID. COVID. Startups to SMEs ki yalanti challenges us to nayanti bi re then observe jisa na. Actually ka ikka mano jaise din hai jaise actually one lakh two fifty lakhs var ko without security lo industries ki loan provide jaisti. Di baare wo to nayanti kuchh startup company lo ikku ka wo nayanti ka ugasi. If you have an innovative idea, MSME provides funds for the same. That's what Thank you. Yes. Can we have the third question, Hassan? Anish, I saw the army guy in you. <laughs> yes, don't forget to introduce yourself and who the question is for. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. This is Dinesh Shanda from Adjizan Events. I own the event company. I am from BNI Victory Chapter, six year old member. So I have a question for Jeevan sir. Jeevan sir. Sir, a lot of people want to invest. And we get so many calls. Somebody says, I want uh, to invest in uh, systematic invest plan, mutual funds. Somebody says, invest in shares, Nifty 50, Nifty 100, Nifty 1000. Somebody says, we have a computer that will take care. We just invest it, we will give you 4% return every month. So, as an investor, where do you go, sir? <laughs> he, he so, the right from the frying pan into the fire directly. <laughs> so I have sitting next to me is a long term investor. Okay? <laughs> so he just shared with me his portfolio and his philosophy. So uh, generally we do awareness campaigns for investors and the first thing that we say is don't believe in tennis. Right? First. Second, please 
observe what is happening in and and around you. Okay, look at what your child or uh, your family is into. So your son asks for a bike of a specific kind. So that's where you should do investment, right? Because you know that's going. That's where you're going. And the first, the last tip that for investing is that you should invest in as many stocks as you would recollect first thing when you get up in the morning. So not more than 10 to 12. If you are a first time investor, please try out the mutual fund. You can start as small as 50 rupees uh, to the systematic investment plan. Stick with the index funds that gives you the best efficiency as far as your investment is concerned. Let the mutual fund, AMC manager, professionals manage the fund for you. It's very difficult. Investing is not a part-time job. You have to be alert and you need to dedicate yourself to, to whatever investments you're making. So that's that's some kind of philosophy on what you should do for investing. Amazing. Can we have a Thank you. I have a question, sir, for you. One stock that you recommend. Everybody no. over here. He can't, he can't. He just can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, what you have to do is you switch off the cameras, the room has to be completely dark, <laughs> nothing has to be seen, and then you throw darts in the dark, Just and then it, 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 it hits, and the voice modulation will change. It will not <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take the next question, Vinay. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Tisha Gupta, representing Luka Golden Silver. It's a 26-year-old family. You have to hold it closer. Little they louder, we can't hear you. Okay, this is Nisha Gupta representing Durga Gold and Silver. It's a 26-year-old jewelry mall at MG Road Sikandabar. So my question is to Mr. Amar, please. Uh, so uh, these is a lot of D2C brands are uh, you know growing popular in the country. And on the other hand, there are a lot of uh, businesses that still operate with the traditional supply chain. So um, do you think that there are any glaring challenges that they should look at, and how do they get through these challenges? Again, it is not about uh, D2C brands or traditional businesses. The challenges are there for both the industries. But what I am looking at in terms of challenges, is it the operation challenges, is it the marketing challenges? And you need to zero down on them. And you need to address that. That's the only thing. Because the thing is, without addressing the challenges, there will be no scale. So whether it is D2C brands, we have day-to-day -day challenges, we address that challenges. And whether it is a traditional company, they have their own challenges. So you need to understand how do we break down and how do we solve it? Thank you. Can we have Thank a huge you. round of applause, please? Okay, coming to Hassan. Can we have the next question, please? Good morning, Good morning. Well, this is Ali Asghar into paint sales and services, serving the industry since last 55 years. And Don't go with my age. It's my father's business which I'm running. <laughs> so the question is to our executive director, Sanjana Shah the most dynamic leader, the youngest leader maybe in the world of BNI. <laughs> so Sanjana, we've exponentially grown in the last few years. We've done a world record recently. I know you will not stop here. So what is the next thing for us? All right, it is not my question. I'm sure this is all our questions. Yes. All right, so immediate next thing for us is uh, look at helping all of these 1,000 people to understand BNI and stay in BNI. Uh, right now, all of, a lot of people who got added are confused of how the ecosystem works. So to all the seasoned members who are listening to me, let's be there as mentors to all these 1,000 people who have got added in one day and make sure that we help them understand the ecosystem and then take a decision whether they want to stay in the ecosystem or not. Uh, right now, I see that they are leaving the ecosystem without understanding it. So let's make sure that uh, we help them understand what BNI is, show them the power of BNI, and then leave the decision on them whether they want to continue or not. Thank you so much. We are with you, Sajana. Thank you. And